Um, today we're speaking about the organic elderberry. Can you tell us a bit about that product? Well, uh, in these crazy, as everyone says, unprecedented times, uh, we need to take care of our immune system. And luckily, we do have a lot of options out there. And one of the best options and most researched options is elderberry, uh, specifically the European elderberry, uh, which has had multiple clinical trials over oh gosh, has to be gone, at least 50 years that they've been researching it, looking at uh, proving what they knew from traditional texts. And they found out they were right. Uh, European elderberry is incredible for your immune system. Amazing. So 50 years it's been, um, been used. Oh, it's been used much longer than that. Mm -hmm. That's just when the science started catching up. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, science. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, it's, it's been a traditional herbal remedy for generations across Europe. Um, and it's uh, us in North America and in Asia where they've been tweaked onto it, say, in the last 20 years-ish. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's been well known throughout Europe for, as I say, generations generations well wow. and so why is uh, your elderberry a little bit different maybe than others on the market well we're the only certified organic elderberry capsule available and the reason that's important is like any other berry mm -hmm. uh, for for people who know about organics berries in particular can concentrate the nastiness <laughs> of uh, pesticides, herbicides, fungicides, uh, some of the nasty fertilizers, etc. When the plant is producing the berries, it concentrates so much stuff that some of the stuff it can concentrate is some of the stuff you want to make sure you don't have. Mm -hmm. And so when, when whatever elderberry product you're looking at, in fact, any berry product at all, mm -hmm. you should always try and get organic if you can. If it's available, try and get organic. Now with elderberry, the way it most often used to be used mm -hmm. was as a, a concentrated syrup. Mm -hmm. and, the, and the reason for that is traditionally going back, let's go back four or five generations, that's how you took medicinal products for respiratory and immune cold flu, et cetera. That's how you took them was as a syrup. Essentially, what you did is you concentrated the juice from the berries, then you added in a ton of sugar or honey, mm -hmm. added a little bit of water, and there you have it. And the reason it was done that way is way back when they had no way to actually dry the juice. They didn't have a way of doing that. So the only way they can preserve the juice and take it and for a prolonged period of time, i.e. during cold and flu season or throughout mm -hmm. cold and flu season, was to increased the sugar dramatically and the sugar acted as a preservative. The sugar itself caused it to be a syrup. Okay, interesting. I've seen syrups out there, but um, uh, I haven't seen capsules like yours. So very interesting. Yeah, the reason we chose to do it in a capsule was mm -hmm. there's a significant number of people out there due to either dietary restrictions, health issues, or just personal preference that want it in a format without any sugar of any kind, and they want as pure a product as possible. And for example, our, our elderberry, our organic elderberry capsules are essentially elderberry concentrate a certified organic capsule. So both of those are certified organic. And then to help it move through the machine, we add a little bit of certified organic rice powder. So you're getting a really clean, pure, simple product with none of the additional sugars, uh, none of the additional sweeteners. So there's no fructose, no sucrose, no honey, none of that is added. I would think that the sugar as well would sort of counteract the immune effect. I've heard that sugar actually uh, decreases your immune function. Correct. Sugar is an immunosuppressant. Mm -hmm. And can I ask you then, um, who, who would use this product? I mean, would people use it actually preventively during the, preventatively during the season or would they, would they use it at the onset of symptoms? Well, that's one of the beauties of elderberry. Mm -hmm. If your product's strong enough, 
you can use it in both senses of the word. The compounds in it that actually help reduce the length and severity of cold, flu, and respiratory illnesses will also help you to prevent getting them in the first place. It, but please understand, it is mm -hmm. not a cure. I, I just want to put that out there to be completely honest with everyone. There is no cure out there. It doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. But this is one of your best tools to help prevent it. And if you're unlucky enough to get a respiratory illness, mm -hmm. this is one of the tools you can use to help lessen the the uh, symptoms that happen and at the same time also get over it faster. Okay, and so this is more specific to respiratory uh, ailments? Um, that's where it shines. It will help the immune system as a whole and that's because of the, the constituents in it, the vitamin, the mineral, the, ph the phytonutrient profile in it, but at the same time it also is great for the entire immune system and it really shines when it comes to respiratory infections. Excellent. Are there any uh, contraindications or are there certain people that might not um, uh, be advised to take the product or is this very safe for anyone? The only concern is like any other natural product, if you're allergic to elderberries, don't take the product. <laughs> other, <laughs> other than that, it's, it's pretty safe because you also have to understand elderberry is naturally also a food. Mm -hmm. um, if you go in areas of Europe, it's very common to find, for example, elderberry jam. Uh, I, ha I had some when my wife and I were in the Middle East. Uh, they, they love it there. They go through it. It's, it's just part of the diet there. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So um, can children actually take this product? What we would say to do, for example, what I do with my son, because capsules and him are not on good terms. What we do is we actually just break open the capsule and he takes the powder. Okay. I, I, would, I wouldn't suggest young children take any capsule. I, I, don't, I don't care what it is or whose it is. Mm -hmm. Irrelevant. I wouldn't suggest it because there's always the possibility until they're in their mid to late teens, there's the, the real possibility of choking on it. They just haven't figured out yet, unless you have an exceptional child, they haven't figured out yet how to take it and swallow it properly. So we suggest just, they're, they're two piece capsules. They're very easy. You just twist them, pop them open. And the powder itself, because it's, it's a berry concentrate, mm -hmm. is quite pleasant. It's slightly tart and at the same time, naturally sweet. Oh, it sounds lovely, actually. <laughs> um, it, it is pretty good. I, I've uh, cracked them open and had some just in water, and I've also had them uh, with orange juice and, oh, and nice. quite like both of them. Okay. And would it be a, a half of a dose for children? How, how would you dose this particular product? Normally, what you want to do is when, when products are, are dosed for adults in Canada, we normally look at an 80 kilogram uh, man as the standard dose and we, we dose accordingly. So what you wanna do is cut the dose in half if your child's 40 kilograms, if your child's 20 kilograms, cut it into a quarter and act accordingly that way. And you can do that with most products that are safe. Mm -hmm. uh, you can do it with vitamin C, you can do it with calcium, you can do it with, with virtually any that are safe. If there are contraindications for the product that, for example, if you're talking um, imperial ginseng or an Asian ginseng, mm -hmm. where it, because it's an energizer, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go dosing a child with that. <laughs> I wouldn't do it. No, no. Um, do you have personal experience or a testimonial you'd like to share about the product? Well, um, I... I use it on a regular basis. I'm one of those uh, interesting people, or at least I like to think of it as interesting. I take it year round. And the reason I take it year round, even when it's not cold and flu season, actually isn't for my immune system. It's just for my general uh, health of my respiratory tract and also for its ability as an antioxidant. Because it's anything that has a nice rich color that's a fruit or vegetable also is rich in antioxidants. And anyone who's seen fresh elderberries, they're about as dark purple as you can get. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. I didn't even think of that, actually. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a great idea. It's, it's quite rich as a source of antioxidants, vitamins, minerals. 
So it's, there, it's a nutrition powerhouse. Okay. Are there other uh, benefits then of taking the elderberry uh, as opposed to um, just the respiratory and antioxidant value? Are there other um, indications for taking it? Um, as an antioxidant, as a source of vitamins and minerals, mm -hmm. and also because it just tastes pretty darn good. <laughs> <laughs> That's as I say, uh, oh, it is. When, when we get a chance and we have relatives coming over uh, from a country where they use it as a jam, we, of course, request they bring some. <laughs> mm, sounds lovely. <laughs> um, and where can people find uh, your elderberry capsules? Uh, the uh, purely organic elderberry capsules are available at most health food stores. Uh, they're available online at our website, which is purelynaturalstore.com, Lee with an L-E. Um, they're also available on Amazon and they're coming soon, mm -hmm. as in hopefully in the next three to four weeks, uh, to any of your retailers that are in the Loblaws group. That would be Loblaws, Fortino's, um, your, the, the Superstore, I'm trying to think of them all, mm -hmm. um, Provigo, so any in the Loblaws group. Oh, fantastic. Excellent, excellent. And um, any other final words on the elderberry or... Just the, the only thing I want to stress with people is mm -hmm. if you're looking for a natural health program for your immune system, for respiratory health, there's no one thing out there that has all the answers to all the pieces or all the pieces of the puzzle. Mm -hmm. Elderberry definitely is one of the pieces to put in the puzzle, but at the same time, it's just a healthy diet, exercise, getting a sleep, really good sleep lots of fresh water as opposed to all the other sugar laden drinks. And on top of that is just taking care of yourself and the healthy diet. If you can get tons of vitamins, tons of minerals, other things like that from your food, but if you don't supplement with them, mm -hmm. that's what dietary supplements are. They're to supplement a healthy diet. Uh, far too often you'll see people, for example, who will read a, a column in a newspaper or see on television, XYZ is great for this. And then they think, okay, I'm not going to do anything really good for me, but I'm going to take XYZ. It's not going to work. That's You're going to be disappointed. Absolutely. No, I've, I hear so that just, all the time. <laughs> so try and be as healthy as you can. This is definitely one of the pieces of the puzzle Mm -hmm. but it's not the whole puzzle. Mm -hmm. And you can take it along with other uh, immune support uh, products. Oh, definitely. I take it uh, part of my regular daily regimen. I do vitamin D. I've, I've started doing vitamin K2 MK7 for my, my immune system. I'm also do vitamin C. I also do oil of oregano and I do elderberry. And sometimes I also do chaga, which is a mushroom. Excellent. Excellent. Well, um, I think with all that, I got my bases covered. <laughs> I think you do. I think you do. That's fantastic. <laughs> well, um, I can't wait to, to try some, uh, and, um, I just want to thank you so much, Joel, for taking the time. Well, thank you very much for having me. And please let me know how you like it, especially when you crack one open and try it. Yes, actually. I'm, I'm looking forward to that. It sounds delicious. <laughs> Please let me know. I'm, I'm eager to find out. And also anyone else who tries it, please send us an email. Let us know or let us know uh, we have an active uh, Instagram and Facebook accounts. Let us know what you think of any of our products, not just this, but definitely this one as well. Please let us know. We, we are eager to hear from you. Excellent. Well, I'll make sure people, people know that. Um, thank you again, Joel, for taking the time to speak with me today. It's always a pleasure. Thank you. I always have fun doing it and I appreciate your enthusiasm.